Now, I'm very surprised to see that a lot of people haven't been talking about this entire Party Next Door situation. Before we continue, Party Next Door, a name a lot of people recognize, no pun intended. Party Next Door, also recognized as PND, is a 29 year old singer slash songwriter out of Mississauga, Canada. Party's been around for a while. I discovered his music sometime in early 2013. That's actually the same year he signed to OVO Records. Party initially got discovered on MySpace at the age of 17. He then, at the age of 17, left his hometown, Mississauga, to go to Los Angeles to pursue music full time. At the age of 18, he ended up signing a publishing deal with Warner Records as a songwriter. Shortly after that, he became a member of the OVO camp. Now, as far as this Party Next Door situation, let's talk about that. The other day, a clip of Party Next Door performing ended up going viral. Unfortunately, it went viral for the wrong reasons. A media outlet by the name of Rap Alert 6 on Twitter put up a post of Party Next Door performing with the caption, Party Next Door came out of hiding last night to perform at VSU's homecoming concert. So Virginia State University was hosting this homecoming event. A couple artists were on a lineup along with Party. Ari Lennox was one of them. And I remember seeing this clip and I didn't think too much of it. Sure, it was interesting seeing Party pop out because he's a very elusive artist. He's not really all up in the media like that. What ended up happening was the clip went viral, not because of the performance though, but because of his appearance. People essentially started making a bunch of jokes about the fact that he's gained weight. So I guess we have another case of body shaming, something I've seen a lot of in the culture, especially the last couple months. I mean, Glorilla was just going through the same thing. People, mainly women, were urging her to get cosmetic surgery. She ended up confidently clapping back by saying, fuck y'all, respectfully. One of the top search results when you looked up Party's name at one point on Twitter was Party Next Door Fat and then Party Next Door Weight. So a lot of people were, you know, cracking jokes about the fact that he gained weight. A bunch of people decided to come out in support of Party. This one tweet from a woman by the name of Cam, she said, everyone body shaming Party Next Door is uh, pissing me off. This other tweet from another woman said, I will literally get violence. No, you won't slow down, but I appreciate the enthusiasm over Party Next Door. Like y'all are so damn nasty for no reason. He gained weight, so what? Ain't nothing wrong with him. Y'all gonna make him go back into hiding. This other tweet, which I really liked said, y'all pretend to care about men's mental health. And then someone like PND comes out of hiding, like we've been begging him to. And y'all tear this man down about his weight, like suicide rates aren't at an all-time high. Y'all don't know what he's going through. This is a really good comment, shout out to her. One thing I've observed about social media, and I put this tweet up the other day, it's the fact that people are very selective when it comes to whose mental health matters and whose mental health doesn't matter. I stand by the fact that everybody's mental health matters no matter who they are, even if that means I don't necessarily fuck with them, that doesn't make it right for me to shit on them, right? This is very much not talked about, but men actually feel some type of way about getting body shamed too. I know that because I'm a man myself and I've had a lot of conversations with a lot of guys and this is something we don't really talk about. It's just that when it comes to men, we don't really talk about it because we're not supposed to appear soft. Also, I don't think people actually care about the mental health of these artists, unfortunately. Most people, from what I've seen, view these artists like they're not human. What they're going through doesn't matter because they got money and fame. Two things can be true at once. We can feel sympathy for Party Next Door because he didn't ask to get his body tore apart by social media while simultaneously realizing that, hey, these artists are blessed. They are in very fortunate positions, but that doesn't negate the fact that they might feel some type of way about people tearing their body apart on social media by criticizing their appearance for no reason. I also think it's hypocritical how people scream mental health matters until it doesn't because when people go in on others, like in this party case, they do so at the expense of his mental health. These jokes that y'all are making, this energy doesn't simply disappear. It gets transferred to party next door because he's the one who's getting subjected to said comments. I understand that there's a very prominent meme culture on the internet, but certain shit we can't let slide under the disguise of making a joke, especially when that joke is literally tearing another person's body apart. I mean, I've never really understood that, man. What's up with people being so worried about other people's bodies? I just, I can't really wrap my head around that. Sure, these party next door got fat comments are jokes, but does that justify the comments? Because what people are doing here is cracking a bunch of jokes without considering what might be going on behind the scenes. And this is not something I know for sure as it relates to party. I'm just saying, sometimes when there's a drastic change in someone's appearance, they're actually battling something internally that ends up reflecting itself externally. A good example of this 
Davis and God rest his soul, but Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther actor, was a successful actor in Hollywood. He unfortunately ended up passing away back in August 2020 at the mere age of 43. Back in 2016, Chadwick Boseman was diagnosed with colon cancer. He kept his diagnosis private, away from social media. Leading up to his death, social media decided to crack a bunch of jokes about Chadwick Boseman's appearance. People noticed that he looked mighty different in comparison to how he looked on Black Panther, and instead of questioning why his appearance changed so much, I don't know, like maybe he's going through something? People made jokes like these. Chadwick Boseman went from Black Panther to Crack Panther. I came across this post on Facebook back then after Chadwick had passed away and uh, the post said the following. I want to talk about a few months ago when pictures of a noticeably thin Chadwick Boseman were going around the internet. I remember people taking it upon themselves to make jokes, tweets, memes, etc. about the change in his appearance. They called him Crack Panther. And now we all know he changed because he was dying of colon cancer. I say all this as a reminder to please not comment on people's bodies, especially changes in their weight. You never know what's going on in someone's life and barring that, it's none of your damn business. Hey. He's not lying. Rest in peace to Chadwick. It really broke my heart hearing what he went through. But what killed me is how people treated him with all the jokes they were making. Not realizing that the man was literally going through hell behind the scenes. Moral of the story, you really just don't know what people go through, man. I actually received some news that a couple weeks ago, someone that I knew recently committed suicide. And just from looking at her, I would have never been able to guess that she was going through the hell mentally. Rest in peace to her, by the way. She had a really uplifting spirit. And a lot of people in my community actually really miss her. So moral of the story, you really don't know. And I'm sure a party next door is doing good. I'm just trying to make a point. These body shaming comments, man, they got to stop. No matter who it is, man, woman, they need to stop immediately. That's all. But yeah, these party next door comments, they're whack. It's always interesting to see people claim that they care about the mental health of others, but those same people are usually the ones on social media making jokes at the expense of other people's mental health. Any thoughts on this topic? Not a lot of people are talking about this, so maybe this video could start a ripple effect. Like we covered, a clip of party next door performing went viral on Twitter the other day. People made a bunch of jokes about his appearance, calling party next door fat. He has indeed gained some weight. Party used to be very slim, but that's none of my business. I think he make some great music he's a great writer and that's what i'm gonna focus on any thoughts on this definitely let me know in the comment section below and uh like this video like this video don't be stingy now okay don't be stingy with the likes like this damn video let's have a discussion about this